Amen. Amen. All right. So I got a question for you guys. Uh, and by the way, everybody, just so you know, see these devices up here? This one's pink. This one, oh, there it is. Uh, we're asking everybody to surrender them. You too. No. Where is it? my Bible. Oh, you, what the? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, she's right. She brought her Bible. Uh, so if you bring your Bible, I said it. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> she's the only one. So if you need a Bible, uh, save your money and buy one. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, so, awesome. Good job, Julia. Uh, today we're going to be go starting a new topic, but I need you guys to do something for me. Um, I need you to think about heaven and hell. We just went over it. So heaven was this place to where God's going to be. It's going to be... Uh, no sin, no death. Never again in your life will you ever have to fear death. It'll never happen, ever. It's only living and loving your life the rest of eternity with God. And then you got hell. Hell is eternal separation from God. Darkness, gloom, fire, all these things. Uh, the de demons and Satan will be there. It's going to be, think about, you know, like the worst place on earth. Uh... Where the most chaos is. Maybe, I, when I think of that, I think of Africa and all those like tribes to where there's these militia that just do whatever they want. They just go kill everybody, rape them, steal everything. You know, it's just terrible. Without restraint. And if you can think of a place to where that is, you know, I, I, that's just you know, me thinking that a place to where that's totally, that's how it is everywhere. Hell, sin, rampant. Torment, you know, God is, God's pulled out. This is, I'm out of this. Um, so you got these two places. Uh, but the big question is, you know, we learned about them, but now the big question I think that we need to ask is, where do you think you're going? Uh, heaven or hell? You know, where, are you, where, where do you think you're going and how confident are you? So I need you to do something for me. I need you guys just to close your eyes for just a few seconds, right? I'm going to do it with you. Just shut those things, close them. And I need you to really think about this, even people watching. Where are you going to go? Is it going to be heaven? Do you, do you know how certain are you that you're going to go to heaven forever or that you're going to hell? All right, just need you to take a moment and just think. Don't tell nobody. Just take, close your eyes. Ain't nobody looking at you except me. No, I'm not looking, but okay, yeah, I was. Um, where are you going? All right, you got it? You can open them if you're ready. All right, where will you be, heaven or hell, and how certain are you? That's the question you need to ask. We already learned all about it, so we're gonna, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to start the conversation, okay? Where will you be? And let me ask you this. Can you be sure? Can you be sure that you're really saved? And, and you know, like I said, it was brought up. In the class and I thought that is a good question because I think a lot of us have that I know growing up I did um, I, I remember growing up that uh, I used to go to these uh, you know events where all the all the kids would go I was young man maybe like 10 and you know they'd have these big events where all the kids would come they'd have like a Bible what is it called those Bible Things uh, like for the whole week. Bible camp. Bible, something like that. Yeah, Bible camp. Oh, sure. Wanted? I don't know. I just, yeah, but anyway, I would go, and they would tell us, "If you believe in Jesus, just raise your hand and pray." And I remember every time I do it, eh, please, you know. And I and I go home, and the next day I feel like I don't think it worked. And uh, so every time i go to church you know and i and i think about it you know that they say if you want to accept jesus in your heart you know i would do it almost not every time but a lot of times because i didn't know i did not know and uh it took me a long time to really figure figure that out but the question is can you have assurance and that's the word we're going to be using is assurance are you sure of salvation that you're saved. 
and I want to ask you guys, um, just to begin, what are your thoughts on it? Just, just as we move forward, are you sure you're going to be with God in heaven? Are you sure you're not going to hell? Or are you sure you are going to hell? Anybody, any thoughts uh, of can you, yes or no? And this is where you can actually answer. You can give us some thoughts. Steve, what do you think? Can you be sure, totally positive, or, or just, I'm like 98% sure? No, I, I think I'm going to heaven. You think you are? Yeah. Okay. Sounds like you're still. All right. You know, and that's, again, right now, right, we're not, I, we're not going to, we're just trying to understand the question. All right. I ain't going to point fingers or nothing like that, guys, please. <laughs> We're going we're gonna to spend a few weeks talking about it, so let's just be honest for a second. I told you, I, I for a long time didn't know. And there's still times where I doubt it, absolutely. But can you? Can you be sure? Is it even possible? What do you think, Elmer? Do you think you could know for sure you're going to hell? Is that a possibility? think you can know I would think so yeah People accept it. yeah so I I don't want anything to do with God I know I'm going to hell yeah I've heard it that's where all my friends are you know I'm gonna join him with Ozzy Osbourne no I think that's he what he said a few times he said that hopefully he does it but uh, can you be sure that you have salvation that God you really are gonna be saved what do you think? You don't know? I don't know if I'm going to be safe. All right. All right. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm just asking. I'm being honest. Hey, about time somebody's honest. Shoot. One and only. Anybody else want to be honest today? We're going to, hey, look, this study's for us, guys. So if you're not going to be honest, then Carla, can you be honest with us? What do you think? I think you can and you should know whether or not you're safe. You can and you should, okay. So if you have any doubt, then it's something, then it's like doubt within yourself where you think that your sin is greater than God's salvation. Okay. So, but I think we can be assured of something like that. Yeah. All right. Julia, what do you think? I'm for sure going to heaven. You no, are. Oh. <laughs> Dang, I was like, wow, she's <laughs> This girl's got confidence. <laughs> but I don't think it's like self confidence because I do I was believe. Kidding. I was no, kidding. she is going to heaven. Right. And it's not confidence in that she's done enough to uh -huh. to merit salvation. It's right. that she's accepted salvation. Okay. That's right. Okay. So, she's going to heaven. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. You spoke for her. All right. Okay, so, you know, Steve says, I think. Uh, Sarah says, I don't know. Julia, Carla spoke for Julia. And, uh, you know, they're on the same page. Um, Elmer's not sure. Um, Josh, what do you think? I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> Okay, so he's trying. All right, hey, fair enough. Trying implies that you're trying to earn it. No. What does it mean, then? I'm trying to believe that. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Today, we're just we're just opening it up. We're just opening it up. It's gonna. I think it's gonna help us all. We're gonna all study it together. It's for us, okay? This is for you guys. Um, David, any thoughts? You don't know? Or you do know? Fifty-fifty. Tonight, if you were to die tonight, where would you go? I don't know, man. Shoot. <laughs> hey, we better get, we're, we're going to have to do all six lessons today then so you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Kim, any thoughts? Uh, I agree with Josh. I say we can try. try. Honestly, I don't think we can know for certain, but. Fair enough. At the end, it's not up to us. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna dive into the study, and it's it's good. It's okay for us to be at different places. It's fine. 
uh, you get it. What you're going to have to decide is: Am I going to rely on my opinion, not you know, not just mine, but your opinion, or are you going to rely on what the Bible actually says? And I think that's where we're going to have to make. We're going to have to all be honest, and we're going to have to decide if we're going to allow that. So, can you guys? Will you guys be willing to let the Bible determine the answer for you? If the scriptures point to something, will you say, okay, I surrender, you know? Or or are we going to hold on to our own, you know? I don't know where it's going to lead. Okay, maybe I do know, but (laughs) we're going to look at the scriptures, okay? I'm going to do my best not to put my opinion in there. But we're just going to let the Bible speak for itself. Should we, is it possible to have assurance of salvation? Should we? Is it, you know? And that's what we're going to look at. So it's going to take a little time. All right. I'm going to show you guys some polls. Uh, Have you guys heard of the Pew Research Center? Uh, I just recently heard about it. So so it's a a research center where they take polls. They take, uh, uh, what what do you call it? They take um, statistics, statistics, yeah, uh, of different, different things about anything, really, but they, uh, they, they rated how many Christians there are in the United States. They took a percentage. They asked, they took a group and they, thousands of people, let's read it. Between 2000 and 2000, 2007 and 2014, the Christian share of population fell from 78.4% to 70.6%, driven mainly by declines among Protestants and Catholics. All right? So... In 2007, the percentage of Americans who claimed to be Christian was 78.4%, all right? So out of all the people in the United States, almost 80% in 2007 said, I'm Christian, I'm certainly going, or not certainly going to heaven, but said, I'm a Christian, okay? And 70.6, according to 2014's poll, uh believe that they're Christian, all right? Believe that they're Christian. And we assume that if you're Christian, you know, you're going to heaven. We assume that, right? That if you, um, John 3, 6, for all, why am I going blank here? John 3, 16. For God God so loved the world, my goodness. That whoever believes in him should have (laughs) eternal life, all right? Will not perish, but have eternal life. So we assume claiming to be Christian, that they do have eternal life, okay? So if 70.6% claim to be Christian, that's a whole lot of people. So that means, if we can just round it off to 70%, that means out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 people in this class, 70% of that, which I wish it was 10, would be a lot easier. So it's like 6, it is 6, okay. It's about 6 Six point something. So a portion of Josh is going, a portion of him isn't. So six, about six people in this room are truly Christian, you know, just according to the poll, uh, and and possibly going to make it to eternity. Okay, which is a lot. Say our whole church, say fifty people go. Seventy uh, percent of that. I do not like math right now. Fifty percent is twenty-five. Good. That's better. Say a hundred people are in that room. Seventy people claim to be Christian, and we assume if you claim to be Christian, you're going to heaven. You're going to eternity. All right. So those are some polls uh, that were taken, 2007 to 2014. Uh, and let me ask you a few other questions. So you know when you go to a concert, right? Hillsong concert, or you go to uh, what other concerts? You've been to any concerts recently? Never. You gotta go. All right, some other, like the uh, worship road show, or uh, whatever it's called. Christmas song. Hey. Uh, worship. Uh, yeah, all these big events. You know, and then at the end they they say, if anyone here wants to accept Jesus, raise your hand. You know, how many people do you think that have raised their hand, truly are saved? Because I wondered that sometimes. Mm-hmm. I wonder that. You know, if everybody who does, they're, boom, they're in. Um, baptism. 
everybody who gets baptized, are they saved? Uh, everybody who attends church, are they saved? Uh, when you say the sinner's prayer, you know, God, I confess my sins to you, come into my life. Are you saved from then forward? Those are some of the questions we're going to be talking about um, to understand that. Because I know for me, I, it's been a struggle to understand that. Um, so I wonder if everyone who claims to be a Christian is truly saved. I don't know, but we're going to find out. All right, so what are some things that we are sure of, okay? Say you're not so sure about your eternity, which is a big deal. What are you sure of? I wrote a few things down. I'm sure that Julia is going to die. Someday, she will die. And so will I. Hopefully, I outlive her, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, that, we're sure of that. Every one of us is going to die. Elmer, you may not agree with it, but too bad. It's happening. So accept it. All right? We know because the statistics are 100%. Seasons, we know that there's going to, what, what's coming on us now? Winter. All right? Whether it rains or not, we're not sure, but winter's coming. We hope it rains. Um, and then, then after that, spring, we get, we get summer. We, we know it. It's, it because it's, it's not failed. Heritage, uh, how certain are you that you're Mexican? Kim? Pretty sure. Oh, you want me to answer that question? I'm just, I'm wondering, you know. How sure are you that you're actually Mexican? How sure are you? That's a better question. Oh, it's very obvious. <laughs> I don't know, there's some things to where you, you know, what if I'm German? Man, this whole time I thought I was Hispanic. Shoot, you know. You know, what, what things are you sure of? Josh is for certain that he's uh, Venezuelan? Yeah. We believe it. We believe it. <laughs> so, you know, we just, how sure are you of something? Your siblings, are you sure that, uh, are you sure David's your brother? <laughs> no, she ain't sure, man. I don't know. Now you can, you know, you can sort of tell. So, siblings, are you sure that that person loves you? How sure are you, you know, that? No, or love. Or what? Like with another person, are you sure they love you? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what you're trying to say. Huh? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> are you sure, Steve? How certain are you that your mom loves you? You sure? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So these are some things we're sure of. What What things are you not sure of? You know, maybe your job. Uh, it could. You could get fired any day. You know, Josh is on the verge. So. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, money? How sure that you're going to have money? You know, a lot of my, my money's in my bank. Something goes sour and it's gone. You know, I can't. Some, uh, some things you just aren't sure of that I'm going to have work for the next few weeks and I'll have money to pay. I, I don't know. Uh, health? You know, that, that you're healthy? You know, these things that you may, you think you're sure of, but you're really not. You know, they could go. You could think go quick. And when you're going to die, really nobody knows. Everybody, you know, the Bible talks about that every, that every day is accounted for. That, you know, God has a day set. Or He knows when. Not that He's determined it, but He knows when it's time. And uh, you don't. We don't. Could be any day now. Alright? So how sure are you? Are you sure... That you're sure you're going to be with God for eternity. All right. Uh, how sure can you be and are you sure? I want to look at a few verses because the Bible kind of tells us that uh, you should think about it. Okay. And I want to, if you could help me with Matthew 7, 21 to 23, if you have a Bible. We all know Julia does. Yeah, so know. if you could please turn with us, Julia. <laughs> Matthew 7, 21 to 23. All right, so let's just see what the Bible says about are you sure that you're sure? All right, Steve was a little, uns you know, mostly sure. Okay, William, we'll give it to us. Okay. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does 
the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Okay, let's break this one down verse by verse. Okay, we got three verses. Um, and the first one says, can you read it to us again, Julia? Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Sorry. Uh, right there is good. All right. What is it saying? Not everybody who says to me, Lord, Lord, is going to enter the kingdom of heaven. All right. What does that mean? Anybody? That not everybody who calls on my name or that who says, I am a Christian. Yeah. Not everybody who says... I'm a Christian, or Lord, Lord, Jesus, Jesus. Not everybody who says that is going to get into the kingdom. Can you just imagine this? All right, you die. Say Elmer dies. He stands before the judgment throne ready for God to, to say, Hey, come on in, brother. And he's and he say, Hey, Lord, Lord. He say, Huh? I don't know you, bro. What the heck? No. You What? Oh, my gosh. How terrible would that feel? To think this whole time you're going and then all of a sudden you find out. Mm -mm. All right, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Julia, can you go to the next verse, please? Uh, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Cast out demons in your name and did many wonders in your name. All right, so what kind of things have these people done that are saying this? Works. Okay, works. What kind of works specifically? Said wonders in your name. Cast out demons, Cast demons. Out demons in your name. And there was one more thing. Prophesied. Prophesied in your name. Yeah. All right. Any of us ever done any of those things? That's some heavy duty stuff there. Spiritual gifts. You would think that somebody casting out demons would be, you know, like filled with the Spirit of God. You know, definitely Christian. Or doing signs and wonders, doing the miracles. But these guys who've done these miracles come before God and they say, Lord, Lord. And he says, uh, well, let's see what he says. Julia, last verse. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. I never knew you. Get the heck out of here. Filthy. No, he doesn't say that, but. Okay, so what's the scenario here? Judgment Day comes. Some people walk up to God, very confident. Uh, let me in. And he says, uh, you know, I don't know you. And then they give their, um, I don't know what you would call it. They, their, resume. Yeah, their resume. Give their, you know, how could I not be? I mean, I, I casted demons out of people. I did, you know, I, I did a miracle. I did this amazing thing. I opened a charity. I fed the, all the African kids. Uh, you know, whatever it may be. I started a little youth ministry. You know, I did this. I had a YouTube channel. Or uh, I made these fantastic tacos for the poor. You know, all these things. And uh, God says, uh, I never knew you. And so I think the point here is that these people were pretty sure. They were going, but when they came up, they had it all wrong, and it's kind of scary. Um, and the scary thing is that, you know, be, before this verse, there's a whole, Jesus goes over the Sermon on the Mount, he gives all these things which are really awesome, you know, don't do this, I tell you new things, and then at the end he says, uh, you know, there's a possibility that you think you're going to go to heaven, and you're not. You know, and that, and what a shame it would be at the end to know that. So I think for all of us, that should scare us a little bit. You know, not that I want you to be all uncertain, but I think it just, it tells you to think about it. Uh, are you relying on some of your gifts? What are you relying on? And we're going to touch on all that, but today is just to kind of mess us up. That's the goal for today. Okay, so it... Are you sure you know where you're going? All right, that's the question. Are you sure you know? Um, several of us aren't, okay? 
Is it possible to think you know and be totally wrong? All right, anybody ever done that? Given like directions, driving somewhere? Go left, right, no, it's that way. And then you get there, like, oh, darn it. I miss, I do that a lot. I, I, uh, I think I know and I just find out I, I didn't. Um, and I was sure I knew the way, but I didn't. So we all got lost, you know, and we all died. So, no, that doesn't happen. But is it possible to think you know and be totally wrong? Absolutely, it is. Some of us don't want to admit it, but yes. But I'd like for you guys to be sure. I'd like you have a really good idea, at least, of to know. And we're going to read one more verse. It's in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. You can read it. She's got her Bible out. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. And this is Peter. Do you guys all know who Peter was? Right? Uh, yeah, the fiery apostle. All right. When you're ready, Kim. Yeah, that's a big one there. It says, therefore, brothers... Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Chapter 1, verse 10 to 11. Second Peter. Yeah, okay. So, therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election. If you practice these qualities, you will never fall. For in the way there... For in this way, there will be richly provided for you an entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hmm. All right, let's break this one down, okay? I think this is important. This is going to set us forward in the rest of our study for the rest of the weeks. Uh, Kim, can you read verse 1 again? Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election. All right, right there. Just right there. Okay. Therefore, brothers, okay, let's take these words, be all the more diligent. What does diligent mean? Steve? Diligent. Uh, Confidence. Mm. Busy. Informed. Diligent. What do you do with diligence? Make decisions. Stay busy, right? Stay busy. You work. Work hard at something. Diligent. Yeah, it's 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 progressing. You know, working hard at something. And you can read different versions, but it's like working hard. Really work hard. Be diligent to buy a house. Get on it, you know, save your money. All right, so can you start us off again with the verse? The same one? Mm -hmm. Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election. Okay, right there. Be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election. Okay, what does confirm mean? Anybody? Josh just confirmed something with a girl the other day. Well, they're going to confirm something, actually. My bad. In two years, or what was it? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> so they're going to confirm something, okay? He made a decision to marry someone, and they're going to confirm it on a specific day, which we're all going to celebrate. <laughs> that specific, and they're going to have a big ceremony and confirm it. This is done, all right? So, be diligent, work very hard to make your calling, okay, your call, that God's called your election, some words that, you know, we'll have to break down over the time, that God's elected you, He selected you, sure, sure, all right, be, work very hard to make your calling, your, your status in God, sure, all right. Um, and can you finish it for us? Eleven? Oh, uh, yeah. For ten. Ten. Uh, the last part says, For if you practice these qualities, qualities, you will never fall. Okay. If you practice these qualities, you'll never fall. All right. And let's finish the, with the last one, please. For in this way, there will be richly provided for you an entrance into the eternal kingdom of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right. Can you visualize that? Vis yes, sir. Thank you. Can you visualize that? All right. What what thing have you gone into and everybody's been shouting for you, Elmer? Like just walked into a place. Yeah. Basketball when you were in high school. They didn't do that. <laughs> Poor guy. When you graduated. When you graduated. Yes, they did. So they were all screaming. David was in the back. Yeah, that's my brother. <laughs> yeah. 
Me and my dog. Yeah. <laughs> so that was something where you, you know, there was a big celebration for you. Okay. So in Kim, where Kim read is that if you do these things, there will be, uh, I forgot the wording there. Richly provided. Richly provided an entrance. Into the internal kingdom. Into the eternal kingdom. <laughs> All right. So there's going to be a huge celebration. There's going to be a big entrance waiting for you to come into the kingdom. All right. So think of this verses. One side, which you read in Matthew, where these guys show up at the door and they say, hey, uh, we, yeah, we, we were the demon killers and we, you know, we did all these miracles and stuff. Uh, we don't know you. Sorry. And then Peter tells us, work very hard to make your election, your calling, sure. And if you do these things, which the, th the things we didn't read that he's talking about, if you do these things, there will be richly provided an entrance for you into the kingdom of God. You won't even have to ask. They're going to just say, come on, we've been waiting for you. Then everybody's going to be blowing balloons you know, on your birthday, how they celebrate, throwing stuff at you, you know, confetti. Wouldn't that be awesome? You're you coming into heaven and everybody's just, yeah, Sarah, you know. That's the visual I get, that it's, so Peter says, work really hard to make sure that's going to be your entrance. That you can be confident to know you're going to enter, enter like that, all right? And so I looked up this word sure, just in case, you know, because I was a little unsure of what that meant. Uh... It's actually bebaios in Greek, um, to walk where it is solid, okay? That's where it's derived from, the word to walk where it is solid, properly solid, enough to walk on, firm, unshakable, absolutely dependable, giving guaranteed support, security, okay? That's the word. So he says, be, work very hard, be diligent to make your calling and election absolutely dependable secure, solid enough to walk, to stand on. All right, so Peter's given them this charge. Work, this should be the most important thing for you to do, to know, to know, and to be sure, to be confident. And so what I'm gathering from this, well, what, what, I don't know, what do you guys think? Just on the, on the topic we're on today is are you sure? Can you be sure? Do you th what do you think this verse is telling us? Is it is it possible? I don't know. What do you think? Is there a possibility to be sure? Yeah. You think? It sounds like it. it. Sounds like there is. Be diligent to make your calling and election sure. So it sounds like Peter's saying. You could know. Work hard, to know it. That's what it sounds like. And uh, you can read that for yourself. Uh, check out the version. Okay? So, again, we've got these two scenarios. One where they show up and they get kicked out. And the other, they show up and there's a party waiting for them. And I would sure like that myself, you know? I, I think it's really terrible to be rejected. That's terrible. So, as I mentioned, uh, you know, we're going to start a new series. Uh, which I'm, I'm excited about because, I, I, again, I think I'm going to learn a lot. I, I probably learn more uh, doing this than maybe some of you do. Just, just from studying it, I, 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 I benefit a lot from it. So I'm hoping you guys do too. Uh, and I'd love for your guys' help. And I'm going to make ways for you guys to get involved. But we're, we're going to discuss the assurance of salvation. Uh, I believe knowing, knowing whether you're saved or not changes everything. I think it does because I've had an I've had a change in my life with that. Uh, I'll give you a story. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know how old I was. It was forever ago. But I went to my first Hillsong conference ever, first one. And uh, if you don't, you know who Hillsong is. Good. You got to go. Uh, first one. One coming up, I think. I'm impressed now. Do it. I think it just passed. No, there's one in March. Oh, it's coming? Yeah. Oh. I'm a 14. Oh, what are you talking about? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Awesome. 
Okay. All right. So, so as before uh, Sarah interrupted me, I was telling you. <laughs> 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 I was just kidding. Um, as I was saying, I went to my first Hillsong conference, and, a concert, sorry. And they were singing this song, and uh, it says, And I know you're with me. And I know you're with me. And I was looking at him singing, I was like, man, this guy's convinced. And I just couldn't understand, because I, I don't know that I've ever had that, until that moment, ever had that confidence to say that. God, I know you're with me. I, I don't know that until that moment I've ever had that ability or that confidence to say something like that. And something, when I heard him singing that and watching him sing it, I was like, I want to know, you know, I want to know that, that confidence, because I, I, yeah, something in me just started to, like, stir up, like, I need to know, um, and I started singing it, and I was, ah, I know it, you know, <laughs> singing, and it was, it was awesome, that was, so I will never forget that day, because it changed me, um, and I think that, yeah, we all have to, I, I, like I said, I think that changes everything. To when you know, uh, you know. Imagine Josh never really knowing if his wife to be really loves him. You know, he's like, oh, I don't know if she does or not. You know, hopefully, you know, I would love to know. Hey, let's just tell me. You know, do you love me or not? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. You know. But so, Second Peter tells us to work really hard. Okay, that's what we gather from that. Work hard to know. What do you work hard at? We'll be discussing. But I think for just for you guys and for myself, uh, let's just make this a point. I think it's probably the most important question. Just make it a point, you know, for people that are going to be watching us on YouTube uh, as we go through it too. Make it a point over the next few weeks to make this a priority. To know. Alright? Can you know? Today we just touched the surface. It sounds like Peter's saying you can and you should. And next week we're going to dive deeper. But I think that we all should just take the time um, to search ourselves because this is forever. All right. You got to be sure you you're you know you're doing the right things to know your eternity. Um, so I'm hoping that at the end of it, every one of you says, either you we can't know and you're confident. No, we cannot know, and we're just you know, or we can know and I do know. Okay. Either one, because we'll let the Bible tell that, teach us, tell that for us. So next week we've got a lot of scripture we're going to be rolling through. And again, I'm going to be probably texting you guys, I'm going to need some help. So um, with that, we'll close up today, and we'll start it up next week. All right, and I think I'm fine. No, I messed up again. So three minutes over. Uh, let's pray, and we'll cl close the day. Let's pray. God.